Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll be showing you how to update, uh, how to backup your M810 instance uh, really quickly to Dropbox. Uh, basically, in front of you, you have this scenario, right? And this scenario triggers every day at 8 p.m., takes a snapshot of every single one of my N810 uh, scenarios, right? Which are just uh, single JSON files using that N810 API, which is just like, uh, it's been released quite recently, to be honest. It takes that. And then he adds to Dropbox. Very simple. I have a Dropbox folder here. If you want, I can go a little bit in detail uh, talking about this uh, scenario. And I'll be also attaching the um, I'll be also attaching the JSON file so that you can uh, get access to it. All right. So let me just get the JSON file. So copy not uh, notepad and let me add it. Save it. So backup and it's an all right, here we go, guys. So, um, very simple. We make a request to the N8 and API. Then uh, the N8 and API is going to give us like some results, right? Um, but the results are not dispatched. Basically, there is a there is an object. Now, let me show you. So, I'm going to run this module, right? And here, yeah, let's ask them to show the data anyway in JSON format, right? But you see that is only one item, unfortunately. Channel, unfortunately, to be honest with it. I mean, but like you need to play around with it. So there is one data object here, right? That contains a lot of child items, right? You see, he has eighty nine child. So uh, this is why I'm using the item list. So this guy, this um, the scope of this uh, this item in a ten is basically, as you can read here, it's gonna split out items. So, from uh, the data object, right? Which is the name, exactly the name of the thing that is coming coming in, yeah, as we saw before. Then, uh, like right now, we only have the names, right, of the of the records, so we need to do another API call to the N810 API, and we'll be asking for more details about every single workflow. Then, when we have the detail of every single workflow, so we basically, we get the, the JSON, the JSON, um, the JSON containing the whole structure of the sh scenario. For each JSON file, we'll be converting it into a binary file, uh, which is uh, a file that I can I can basically convert it into like TXT or whatever it is, and upload it to Dropbox in a folder. Right? It's very very simple scenario. We save it, and let's see. Um, yeah, again, if you need help, uh, if you need uh, this scenario, I'll be sharing it as a TXT. I heard that there is also other ways to share any test scenarios. I think you can also publish them. I'll be checking it out as well while uh, uh, today in this video, okay? If you have any questions about this scenario or anything of NA10, like, because I'm a true master of this software, um, like, we have more than um, thousand and thousand and thousand of automators, the hundreds, I'd say, that are running like clockwork and they are helping all of our businesses. So please do let me know if you have any questions. Uh, this tool is free, to be honest. It, it's crazy that this tool is free. I'm really blessed to have it. And um, yeah, I'm here for questions.